Okay, I'm, this border I know just looks all polka dot, but what I saw were diagonals, um, diagonal lines this way. So I'm, I'm going to go in between those. I, I've switched to a black thread. I know it's going to be harder for you to see the black thread. But just freehand, I'm coming down and going back diagonally. In between each of these dots. Now I'm going to hit the middle right here and then I'll start going this direction. back in the middle like this and just go through here and there. So I've created a different kind of a texture in there that wasn't there before. I know that was hard to see. I love what happened with the um, feather leaves and so all I have left is the middle and I could leave this but it's kind of popped out a little bit so I need to do something around it and I'm going to go in there and with a different color and show you how I'm going to just um, really quilt that down to pop the embroidery up. And what I'm doing around through the embroidery is just going back and forth with horizontal lines in between and filling in all of this area inside of my outline. So it's kind of like an elongated stipple. And that is really going to pound down all of that fabric in between. And I can go down into an area, and I'm not cornered because I can always follow the embroidery up to get out of it. So I'm going to go into every single little area in between all of the embroidery areas on this purple fabric. Make sure that I don't miss any. I just do this. It's a very horizontal line, just back and forth. Just to the edge of the embroidery. Very close together, about an eighth of an inch apart. And then we'll really see how this looks. It's faster than um, outlining every little bit of this embroidery because there's so much embroidery here. But of course you could do that too. 